There's so many cool things I want to show you. It's quickly become my most favorite power bank. In the box, uh, you get the power bank, a little carabiner, and a USB-C charging cable. This device is from Gouda. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but uh, the word good and then three A's after it. But Gouda has outdone themselves with just tricking out the ultimate power bank. This has so many features packed into a tiny little package. It's kind of insane. So on this side right here, we've got a wireless charging pad, lightning cable, a USB type C cable, a micro USB cable, and then some other cable that I'm not familiar with. All integrated so you don't have to go hunting for your charging cable or remember to bring your charging cable you've got that or just use the wireless charging pad. It's 45,800 milliamp hours or 169 watt hours. So it's got a huge battery. On the opposite side, we've got this solar panel. Let's test how that works in the sun. I don't know if you can see, maybe if we turn it this way and if I shade, there you go. Can you see how those four lights are present and the last one's flashing? That uh, is showing that it's in a state of charging. And then on this one side, we have a compass. Not uh, entirely sure if uh, you'd uh, necessarily use that, uh, but cool that uh, they have it. <laughs> and uh, on this side, we have the power button. One press enables the charging parameters. So if we take this AirPod case, see it started charging. This light illuminates. On this end, we've got a flashlight. And so if we push and hold the power button, that will turn the lights on and we have a steady on, an SOS and a strobe, which I'm gonna move quickly past. Here in between, you've got more outputs and a bi-directional USB-C. In case these cables aren't enough, you can totally trick it out with even more on this end. And then if that wasn't enough, check this out. This opens up and you get a hand crank and uh, you can use this and crank. Let's see if I can do this one-handed enough. There we go. So you can see that it triggers the uh, charging lights when I crank it. Obviously that's a you know last resort, uh, you know, cloudy day, you're out of juice kind of thing. Uh, and I definitely wouldn't recommend cranking that for however many hours it would take to charge this. But uh, if you needed to, to get some juice flowing to a device for a few minutes to make a call or whatnot, that would uh, generate enough power to make the ports come alive and get some juice passed into your device. According to the manual, the USB-C and the micro USB and uh, the output ports here can go up to 15 watts for nearly full quick charge. I think 18 watts is USB quick charge parameters. The lightning is slow charge still. And the wireless charging pad is only a five watt output. Just in a surprise for a portable device like this. And does it support multi-device charging? Absolutely, I've got, uh, you see this light illuminated? That's because I've got AirPods charging on the wireless pad. I've got a flashlight, rechargeable flashlight charging from the micro USB. I've got an iPhone charging from the lightning and I've got an iPad charging here from the USB type C and it supports simultaneous charging, no problem. This uh, next test, I uh, got to do a shout out to one of my subscribers. I was uh, talking to him the other day and he recommended uh, a test where we see what the solar panel can actually do and I think it was a good one. So anyway, thanks Steven for that. We're going to put this power bank out here in the sun. I've got a cell phone here that uh, has been drained down to a low battery state of charge. I discharged this completely so it was dead. It wouldn't charge anymore. Now that I'm more in the shade, there you go. Can you see how that last light is flashing? So that means that it's completely depleted. So this is gonna be kind of the uh, worst case scenario for the solar panel. We're going to see if it uh, has enough oomph to uh, not only charge device, but uh, potentially even add a charge to battery bank. It's early in the morning, you can see the shadows are long. So uh, we're gonna just let this run for a little while. Um, I'll give you some periodic updates here 
Uh, but we're just gonna set this in the sun and uh, see what uh, happens. Now, if you can see, but uh, we're at nine percent right there. And anyway, I got this kind of set up so that uh, it gets good sun exposure. I think that's totally fine. If we're eight to eighteen in the morning, so we'll just see uh, what uh, kind of time this takes. It is officially one twenty-three, and uh, this is cooking out here in the nice hundred degree heat. Let's take it over here in the shade and uh, see what's going on. Oh, the phone is now uh, able to turn on and it's registering 20% state of charge. It's working on it, slowly but surely. And again, this is it trying to charge an entire phone plus the battery in this unit. So anyway, let's uh, let it keep going. 552, shade is creeping up on this. Let's see how we're doing so far. Still working on the first uh, bar as far as uh, charging the main battery here. Let's see what the uh, phone is doing. Oh man, it got left on. Must have forgot to uh, lock it. So anyway, 42%. So let's just crunch the results uh, quick and uh, add uh, some extra details that uh, I failed to mention in the video. From when we started in the morning to when I checked on it in the afternoon, that was approximately five hours, and there was some passing clouds, so it was not full sun, and uh, we got an 11% charge uh, added to the phone. So this is with kind of partly cloudy conditions. And in this uh, last one here, uh, the last uh, four and a half hours, we had full sun, no more passing clouds, and uh, that added about a 22% charge on the phone. So that hopefully kind of gives you an idea of what to expect uh, with different sun conditions. So there you guys go. Uh, this has uh, quickly become my favorite power bank just because of the convenience factor that I've got a portable wireless charger as well as cables that are already included with this. So I don't have to remember to bring my cable or worry about forgetting that I forgot my cable. This is a 100% self-contained charging solution for all of your devices and it can even recharge itself with the power of the sun. I think uh, a lot of you would uh, appreciate this. I'll leave a link uh, for it down in the description below. You can check it out. Please don't forget to give us the like and consider subscribing. And please leave comments down below. I try to read all of your comments and I try to respond to all of them. And I love hearing your thoughts and ideas. We'll catch y'all next time.